Hello, welcome to the latest episode of Through the Pages. I have a delightful little book to review today. It is Weather by Jenny Ophill. Um, so this is her, her third book, third novel. She's got some children's books in there. Don't want to discount those, but uh, Department of Speculation was her other big one. I have not read that. This is my first from her, but we'll definitely be doing more. Um, it is a great little book. If you're looking for more book recommendations in general, but want reviews like this that have no spoilers, a little subscribe maybe give me a like but uh back to business here this wonderful book came from a conversation with another author i love um lydia miller so they were in a conversation about climate change and that's what kind of led to the idea of this book or a book that relates to that subject i should say just like children's bible does phenomenal book if you have not read this i was looking to see what year this was read and realized how many other books Lydia Millet has, so I need to get to work on these. In the comments, if you have any Lydia Millet recommendations post the children's Bible, where do I go? Where do I turn? Um, weather. So this book is, it's a very easy read in the sense that like, I don't know, like the structure of it, it's all these kind of like small paragraphs, like little like snapshots into the narrator's day or like like little vignettes from family life. So she's a a college librarian, um, but also just kind of going through family stuff at the same time, general discussion of climate and everything, but it's also pre and post 2020 election. So it's got some good sort of, I don't know, the things all of us were feeling at that time where, you know, you're, she's talking about family issues and little tense things here. And then she said, you know, and the election is tomorrow. And it's just like, oh yeah, I remember that time. That was a heavy time. Like, everything had such weight to it. So there's a lot of humor in it. Um, and I don't think she would maybe write it as like, this is a comedy book. Like, there's just some lines in it. They're just like, whip smart. Just things her kids say or like the way she reflects on it. Sort of those, I'm not a parent myself, but some of those like inner thoughts of a parent just kind of going through it. And I think back to all the weird shit I probably said to my parents and like, how that might linger in their minds. Um, so I feel like this was a very insightful and honest look into parenting and not just parenting, but like sibling life as well. She has a brother that's in and out of the story, um, difficulties that have been kind of not so different from within my family. So I really enjoyed her take on it or her, or that perspective being in there that it's not just like, oh, either perfect family life or couple is struggling. It seems to be like the two options in family life in books so i really just liked this book if you're looking for something that is i i, I should just say easy read because i feel like it almost discounts it to where it's like like oh it's a simple book like there's complexity to it there's layers it took me a little bit to get rolling with it because i at first because of the structure of it where it's just paragraph paragraph like not connected you know it, you know this might have been from the morning this might be night this might be three days later the, and it's not necessarily like telling you that you just kind of have to figure out like oh i'm just getting a sense of this era of life not super succinct telling of the story it it was difficult a little bit because it felt sort of choppy but at the same time later on it's like but then it's not fumbling over itself of like and then today and tomorrow and then he said about that and it's just like all the explanation is subtracted. It's just like, just kind of core bits without just being like plot points. It's also just like when feelings were impacted, it feels like. And I really like that. It, feel, it felt like you just got to kind of stay in her headspace without getting lost in like the logistics of moving a story along. Um, so I liked that for it a lot. Um, and I like just reading a different format too. I think that's something where like I, like a friend had hit me up for books the other day because she was going on a trip and she's like, I want something I can like easily like fall into. And like, I, I'm right there with that. I think that's what we all want from books, but sometimes we have to have the things that take a little bit more out of us. And you know, you get that reward as you get rolling with it. But um, yeah, overall, just a great book. I really want to read Department of Speculation two reasons one just because this this book was great but also like what a cool name for a book honestly like yeah i really like that a lot really like the cover on this a lot get you kind of a close-up in there um i feel like i've seen 
this style of cover somewhere else. That's why I went to a search for Department of Speculation. It's like, oh, was it that? But like, I don't know. There, it must be this this publishing house or this designer within the, I feel like I've seen it where it's a circle or something, but um, yeah, regardless. Um, very good book, very good read. Compact little read, it's like 200 pages. And like I said, it's kind of choppy and broken up, but it has some funny bits where she's kind of, you know, going through the existential dread of uh, the climate crisis and pending doom with the 2020 election and going through like prepper stuff and it's there's some very funny details in it not like looking at it like look at these weird of just like i went down an internet rabbit hole and i learned something like you know like it it was very funny i just thought it was it was very well written and very engrossing i think i read it over the course of three nights because i i just read a book in one shot and i knew i didn't want to do that with this um that review is coming on the, the one shot book, but uh, yeah, I just, I didn't want to burn through it too fast because it felt like it was such a sort of meditation on the feelings of that era. And I didn't want to like blaze through it, but I wouldn't be surprised if you blaze through it because it's a very good book. So check out some Jenny off it. Um, maybe even, maybe even do this still channel a, a subscribe if you want more books like that.